Welcome to the Fallbrook Historical Society's presentation of a brief summary of the history and legacy of Fallbrook, officially known as the Friendly Village since 1885. The History of Fallbrook, Chapter 1 Early Origins Through the Mexican Era The earliest record of people in the Fallbrook area dates all the way back to the ancient Ice Age, some 12,000 years ago. Eventually, with the subsequent warming climate, the Payam Kawicham Indians, meaning the people of the West, settled in the area from Temecula to Oceanside between the two rivers, the Santa Margarita River to the north and the San Luis Rey River to the south. While they claimed to have inhabited this area for more than 10,000 years, certainly they were here well before the first Europeans arrived in the 16th century. Until the Spanish missionaries introduced them to farming and tending cattle in the late 18th century, the Payam Kawicham were essentially a hunter-gatherer civilization for centuries. In the 1790s, the Spanish renamed them the Luiseño, after the San Luis Rey mission where they were relocated to live and work. Hence, they became known as the Mission Indians. Many Luiseño artifacts have been found in the Fallbrook area, such as these historic matates, or grinding stones, with which they made a tasty ground acorn mush called Wiiwish, a high-protein staple food of the Luiseño for centuries. Ancient matates can still be found in the Live Oak Park area and various local stream beds around Fallbrook. Samples are on display at the Fallbrook Historical Society Museum and on site at the historic Raish Schoolhouse. Ancient Luiseño graves have also reportedly been found in the area, such as at the Tomkov Sacred Burial Ground at the foot of Montserrat Mountain. Preservation and respect of sacred Luiseño burial grounds are still the subject of protest and litigation as Palomar College and housing developers target East Fallbrook for development today. The Spanish ruled over this area for some 300 years, from the conquest of the Aztecs in 1521 until Mexican independence in 1821. 1792 marked the start of construction of the San Luis Rey Mission, shown here, eventually housing about 3,000 Luiseño Indians. After 300 years of Spanish rule, Mexico governed California for only 25 years, from the Declaration of Independence from Spain in 1821 until war with the United States in 1846. California was ceded to the U.S. government with the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848, officially ending the war and Mexican control of Alta California. In a mere two years, California would become the 31st state of the United States of America. Following the Mexican Secularization Act of 1833, the vast land holdings of the missions were given to prominent Spanish dons in huge land grants called ranchos. Three of these were in the surrounding Fallbrook area and directly influenced the history and development of Fallbrook. Rancho Santa Margarita y Las Flores was the largest ranch in San Diego County at more than 133,000 acres, stretching from the Pacific Ocean to Fallbrook and Deleuze and from San Onofre to the San Luis Rey River. It was initially given to brothers Andres and Pio Pico in 1841, and eventually sold to the U.S. government for development of the Camp Pendleton Marine Base in 1942. The original adobe, built in 1823, still stands on Camp Pendleton today. In 1845, Rancho Guajome, about 2,200 acres of former mission lands on the San Luis Rey River, were granted to two Luiseño brothers in what is today in the northern part of the city of Vista. The original 1852 adobe, officially a National Historic Landmark, is now an historic house museum within the Guajome County Park. Rancho Montserrat, over 13,000 acres at the foot of Montserrat Mountain, was granted by Governor Pio Pico to his brother-in-law, Isidro Maria Alvarado and his two sisters in 1846. 
Of the three ranchos, Rancho Montserrat included the most of what is now Fallbrook, including San Luis Rey Heights, the area where Fallbrook High School is located today, the Gird Road area south of Live Oak Park, and both sides of the I-15 freeway from Race Road to the San Luis Rey River all the way to Rice Canyon. Somehow, much of Fallbrook itself was missed and not included in any of the Rancho Grants, opening the door to future homesteading and the early white settlement of the area beginning in the 1860s. This has been a mere summary of the rich history of the Fallbrook area from the earliest origins through the Spanish and Mexican eras preceding and leading into the founding homesteads that gave birth to the friendly village of Fallbrook. This is a production of the Fallbrook Historical Society and features original 1954 recordings of an early Fallbrook pioneer, Eric Hindorf, playing violin accompanied by his wife, Annie Hindorf, on piano.